This is going to be a comparison video between the three Megaminxes I have. The MF8 Megaminx, the Hungarian Supernova Remake, and the QJ brand Megaminx. First of all, the basic feel to the puzzles. The MF8 Minx is very light, has pretty shiny colors, I'd say. They are easy to distinguish and they have it has smooth tiles and the edges are pretty thick. Now the Hungarian Supernova. It's pretty light too. Um, it has stickers and very thin edges, so there is not much of an edge piece there. It has the same color scheme as the MF8 Minx. And yeah, so the QJ brand Mega Minx now. The first thing you notice is that it is very heavy. It's like as heavy as those two Mega Minxes. So the color scheme is different too. It has orange opposite of yellow. The two greens are opposite of each other. The two blues are opposite of each other. Two purples are opposite of each other. And pink and red are opposite of each other. And brown and white, sorry. The, um, the edges are almost as thick as the MF8 Megamix edges. And the tiles are a bit textured and kind of rounded off. So, now for the turning. First of all, the MF8 mix again. It turns pretty good and it cuts corners very well, I'd say. Very well and easily. So, for the turning, I would give them a 8 Megaminx a 9 out of 10. Now, the Hungarian Supernova. It turns better than the Megaminx, than the MF8 Megaminx, and it's, it cuts corners pretty well too. So I would give it a, an 8 out of 10. Now the QJ Megaminx. It turns a bit stiff in the beginning, but after a couple of solves it gets really really smooth. And it's cut, it cuts corners almost as good as the MF8 Megaminx. So I would give it a 9 out of 10 too. Now, for um, for the right up, right inverted, up inverted, finger trick performed 6 times. I will do this to all of the cubes. MF8 Megaminx first. One point five five seconds. The supernova now. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, there was one move too much. Two point oh five seconds. And now the QJ mechanics. Three point four five seconds. That is because you can get between the pieces with a finger and it's actually pretty loose. The MF8 Megaminx, you have to try hard to pop some pieces out and they are hard to get in. Okay, <laughs> it wasn't too hard now. but. From my experience, it's hard to get the pieces in.
and the Hungarian supernova. <laughs> it's the pieces pop out so easily. It's like it it doesn't pop while solving, but it's just extremely loose. So I would say if you are used to a China Minx, then buy the Hungarian Supernova. Because it just turns much better and you will have the same recognition. For um, thicker edges you may not be that fast in the beginning. If you are used to PVC Mega Minxes, I would say buy the QJ brand Mega Minx because it has basically the same mechanism as the PVC Mega Minx. And the MF8 Mega Minx? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know who should buy it because it's um, not available at cube for you or cube fans right now. Um, but the same seller on eBay where I got the QJ brand Mega Minxes has MF8 Minxes too. So if I had to give every Mega Minx a certain amount of points out of 100, the QJ Mega Minx would get about 75 because of the poppiness. The Hungarian Supernova would get a 80 out of 100 because of the small edge pieces and the MF8 Megaminx would get a 95 out of 100 because it doesn't pop and basically is the fastest Megaminx. Maybe there is a way to modify the QJ Megaminx so that it doesn't pop. Maybe I'll set the tension a bit tighter. But Basically, I think it that the QJ Megaminx cannot be much better than the Supernova. I think 80, maybe 85 points out of 100. So I hope I could help you. If you have any questions to to me about these Minxes, just send me a personal message or leave a comment or a video response if you want to and have a good day